Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claire and welcome. So today I am going to be doing a face mask that is, um, it kind of blew up on social media and YouTube and all that kind of stuff and um, I have used it once before and um, I did not film it. I forgot to film it so today I'm going to and I'm just gonna kind of give you my thoughts about it, how I, if I think it helps or not. So, um, yeah, so if you guys want to see what mask I'm using and what I think about it, um, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so the mask is the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Mask. And it looks like this. I'm sure you've heard of it, and if you haven't, then, um, like, I got it on Amazon for, like, $10. So, um, yeah, it's pretty affordable, and it it has a smell it's kind of, it's like a floral kind of smell really um it doesn't smell bad or anything and um yeah so and you get i don't know how many ounces you get or anything you get 100 milliliters but cuz the it doesn't have english on here it's if you can see the language it's probably korean because a lot of korean skincare is um, popular in the US, um, but I don't know how many ounces this is, but I do know it is a it is 100 milliliters, so um, I'm not really familiar with the metric system, so I don't know how to convert that really. Um, so yeah, so um, I will go ahead and take it out of the packaging. And it comes with this little spatula that you can scoop it out and put it on your face. So that's why I'm not wearing any makeup or anything because I am doing a face mask today. Um, so it's just like a gel, pretty much. It's not like liquidy or anything. It's really like a gel. It's not creamy either because you can push it and it just goes back. It's like jello. Um, so I'm just going to use a spatula and you could use a synthetic brush if you wanted to. Um, but I am just going to. Oh, I should have gotten a mirror. Hold on, let me grab a mirror. Okay, I am back. So I have my mirror. As you can see, whoop. Um, so I don't have a table in front of me because I'm using it to put my monitor on. So this is gonna be kind of difficult, but it's okay. We will work with it. So I am just going to put it on and it is really like, it's like jelly. So I should have put my hair back. Oh well. Um, so I'm just gonna put it on. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on. Um, I had the box which had the instructions, but uh, you pretty much leave it on for five to ten minutes. You'll know why. Um, it'll bubble up because it is a carbonated mask, so it gets really bubbly. And once it gets bubbly and it's been about five to ten minutes, of course you could wear it longer if you really wanted to. Um, then you just wash it off with water, like any other mask. And yeah, so... Just kind of put this all over your face. I am not a mask expert, but I do love a good mask because my skin is very prone to acne, so I always like to wear masks because it usually helps to counteract the acne. Um, but yeah, so um, I will go ahead and finish putting all of this on and I will come back in just a second. Okay guys, so I just went and put the rest of it on um, and I went ahead and put my hair in a low ponytail because I did not want my hair to get in it because that is annoying. Um, so as you can see, it is already kind of foaming up if I can get closer. Um, yeah, it just foams up a lot. And uh, this is not it, this gets more. Uh, and it has to be five minutes, so, um, so this is just what it looks like. And I've had it on for about like a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and it tickles a lot right here because it's like touching my nose and I, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze if it keeps going. My eyes are starting to water. Okay, I need to like wipe it. It tickles. Um, there we go. I should put my hand in. But as you can see, it's like really bubbly on my finger and everything. So yeah, I'll just, you know, just wipe it on my neck, I guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is the two minute mark, as you can see, it, it's really cooling and it feels, you can hear it, like, I don't know, you probably couldn't hear it if I put my face up to the microphone. My nose is looking a little gross, because I look like a 
cloud, a beautiful, majestic cloud. <laughs> That's what I am. That's my spirit animal today, a cloud. But um, yeah, because I had I did have a breakout this week, and I had some like down here and over here, and up here, like here, <laughs> um, everywhere. Um, so mask is always a good idea because. Unless it's a new mask, don't try a new mask because you don't know if it's good for your skin type or not. Use a tried and true mask that you know is going to be good for your skin and that it like agrees with your skin and your skin won't get angry at it and everything. So um, yeah, I have used this like once before and it didn't really upset my skin so I am using it again because I need it and I just wanted to do a quick review on it so it's bubbling up a little bit and I will check back with you in like five minutes when it's at its full extent. Hey guys, I'm back! Um, <laughs> this is hideous. It's so bad. Like, it feels good though, and it it's still making noise, and I'm pretty sure this is to the full extent of what it can get, but um, this is, uh, yep. I'm a cloud. A beautiful, beautiful cloud. Like, this is interesting, and I I think it's, it could be a little gimmicky, not gonna lie, it could be because I don't think the bubbling has anything to do with it because it's just a clay mask because when you take the bubbling off, like you can scrape it like, okay let me show you, you can scrape it off and it's just the clay underneath and then the bubbling, like, I don't know if the bubbling has anything to do with it, I don't know, um, but it's fun because you look crazy and um, it just makes masks more fun, I guess. So, um, yeah, uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, this is to, this is about as much as it gets and it tickles a lot. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go wash it off and then I will come back and um, feel my skin, tell you how it feels, all that. And um, yeah, so um, I will be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just washed my face off and um, so some of my thoughts about it are uh, my skin feels really, really, really soft. It's like a baby's butt. Um, it does feel incredibly soft. It feels a little tight though um, and it's not like dry tight, it just kind of tightens your face, which some people like. I don't like um, tightening kinds of things. but. I'm sure if I put moisturizer on then it would be fine, but I wanted to give my honest like opinion without any other factors. So um, it is a little tightening on me at least. Um, it's really soft, makes your skin feel amazing. Um, it's pretty easy to get off, it's not too difficult. Um, what I recommend doing is like scraping, not scraping, but just like the, the foam part comes off really easy so you can kind of just pull, take all of that off and wash it and then you don't have foam falling and stuff so then you just wipe the clay part off and um, yeah and some things I would change about the um, the mask are possibly the spatula it comes with because it is pretty tiny it's not like oh wow amazing you know it's it's pretty small I mean like it's not like you have to kind of go in and in. I think it's well worth your money because uh, like I said, I love masks. I'm willing to spend money on them. Like I'm not stingy with buying masks because my philosophy is that if you do your makeup and your skin isn't the greatest shape, like you don't even wash it or maybe you just wash the moisturize and that's it and your wash isn't and your cleanser isn't even like meant for your skin type and your skin is not good it's um it's like super pimply which some people do have pimply skin like they could have um they could just have that kind of skin which i know a lot of people like that but in order to ha have your makeup look best that it can be then you need to take care of your skin as well so masks are great skincare I mean, I spend money on my masks, my cleansers, my toners, my moisturizers. Like, I'm willing to spend money on that. And then, in the end, you don't have to spend as much money on makeup because you won't need as much, I guess, because your skin is better. So you don't need, you know, that full coverage if your skin is, you know, nice. Which, my skin is not the best skin ever, but it is better than it used to be. I used to have 
really, really, really oily skin and I used to have incredibly pimply skin and it was terrible. Um, so taking up skincare and just being a teenager, um, because being a teenager in general, you're most likely going to get some acne depending on your skin type, but um, just taking care of your skin really helps. It has really helped me and my oil production has gone down, I guess. My skin isn't as oily as it used to be. Um, but yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will go ahead and put a link to the mask um, I got on Amazon. Um, I'm sure you could get it somewhere else if you wanted to, but um, yeah, so I will go ahead and link that down below. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe down below. And I will hopefully see you guys next week.